Pivot tables are one of Excel's most powerful features. Being able to quickly analyze data can help us make better business decisions. But at times it's difficult to figure out where to start, especially when we are dealing with a large amount of data. Pivot tables are a great way to summarize, analyze, explore and present our data and they can be created with just a few clicks. High flexibility and possibility to quickly adjust pivot tables depending on how we need to display our results makes it a very powerful and popular tool. We can also create pivot charts based on pivot tables and they automatically update when our pivot tables do. We have taken uh, sample sales data of a government wholesaler and our data set consists of 22,312 records and 9 fields. Mind you, 22,312 records. Serial number, customer code, date, invoice number, item name, item code, amount, sales executive and zone. Now to insert a pivot table, click any single cell inside the data set and on the insert tab in the tables group, click pivot table. You will see that the create pivot table dialog box appears and it asks you to choose the data that you want to analyze. Notice that Excel automatically selects the data for us. Then it asks you to choose where you want the pivot table report to be placed. So the default location for a new pivot table is new worksheet. Now click OK. So the pivot table fields pane appears. Now to get the total sales of each product drag the fields to the different areas. Take item name field to the rows area. Take amount field to the values area. And take zone field to the filters area. So here we can find the pivot table. You would notice that T's are our main revenue contributor. So see how quickly we were able to summarize a huge data set. That's how easy pivot tables can be. Now to get T's at the top of the list. Let's sort the pivot table. So click any cell inside the sum of amount column. Right click and click on sort. Sort largest to smallest. And here's the result. Because we added the zone field to the filters area, we can filter this pivot table by zone. For example, which items do we sell the most in north zone? So click the filter drop down and select north. So the result shows that T's are our main sales item in the north zone. 
so you'll note that we can use the standard filter there is a triangle next to row labels to only show the amounts of specific products by default excel summarizes our data by either summing or counting the items to change the type of calculation that we want to use click any cell inside the sum of amount column right click and then click on value field settings now choose the type of calculation you want to use for example click count then click okay so t's were a part of 3550 out of the 10426 invoices to north zone we learn how to make a two dimensional pivot table if we drag a field to the rows area and columns area we can create a two dimensional pivot table so first insert a pivot table then to get the total amount sold in each zone of each product drag these fields to the different areas take zone field to the columns area item name field to the rows area and amount field to the values area now you can see a two dimensional pivot table easily compare these numbers we can create a pivot chart maybe this is uh, one step ahead at this stage but it shows another powerful pivot table feature that excel has to offer